Good evening and happy Sunday. I want us to look at um, Genesis chapter 6. It's one scripture that has been um, contentious. That has given um, room for argument. Uh, but I think if we are to consider it from the light of revelation, it would be clearer for us. In chapter 1, it says, when men began to multiply, when men, when men began to multiply, the sons of God, not men, not sons of men, the sons of God came into the daughters of men. Okay? Now, the question is, why did they wait until this time to come into the daughters of men? Now, the clear, the best way to understand it is to go back to Genesis chapter 1 and Genesis chapter 3. In Genesis chapter 1, God said, Let us make man in our image, verse 26, after our likeness and let them have dominion. So there's a dominion mandate that is the basis for man's creation. But in 28, we have a clearer idea how the dominion will kick into place. It says, number one, be fruitful. Number two, multiply. To replenish the earth. Subdue it. Then you have dominion. So the dominion as an original plan of God is an outcome of a process. Central to this process is fruitfulness and multiplication. You get that now? So you go back to Genesis 6, 1, when men began to multiply. So understand now that the dominion mandate was to kick all in its full-fledged, full, full force to manifest the dominion of man. Because by the nature of man, God has created us in such a way that only by number are we to multiply. But the number, are we to have dominion? But the number by which we will have dominion must depend be dependent on fruitfulness. In other words, the more you are fruitful, here fruitfulness means growing yourself. The more intellectually enlightened you are, the more you have expression with light, encounter with the truth, you build your spirit man, build a mind, and you become um, an individual capable of producing that kind, that kind to the world. God wasn't just looking for multiplication of men. He was looking for multiplication that is a product of fruitfulness. So that the more you become a qualitative man, the more your seed becomes qualitative. That was why he did not give Adam. He did not give him Abraham Isaac until Abraham had become perfect. He said, walk before me or follow me, guide my guidelines, and be like me. Be thou perfect. Walk before me and be thou perfect. Now, Abraham had two seeds. Isaac was a seed after perfection or as a product of perfection. Now, Ishmael is a seed before perfection. God wasn't interested in the seed before perfection. It would be a erratic seed that does not have the very nature of God. That was why he didn't ask Adam to be to multiply on, until he had been fruitful. He was going to grow, and that would only happen with by having an encounter with the tree of life. So the same way Abraham was to live, so the seed of Abraham became the seed of the nature of God, Why that as in Isaac. But in Ishmael, the seed of Abraham was the consciousness of mortal men. These are two different seeds. One is towards God nature. The other is towards man nature. Hagar is towards man nature. Isaac is towards God's nature. This is how to judge um, things in line with revelation. So God wasn't interested in Adam just multiplying seeds. God was interested in seed in his own image. The way he created Adam in his image, he wanted Adam to grow, develop, and produce seeds in his image, which will follow in the lineage of God. Just like Paul says in Philippians 3, we look up to Christ, we follow Christ. He also will follow us as an example. You get the idea? That's the nature of God. This is how God does his multiplication. Now, when 
Genesis 3, the serpent intercepted that um, development, that fruitfulness before multiplication because the fruitfulness was organized in such a way that as Adam had fellowship with the tree of life, Adam was going to produce the nature of light and become like God in a certain order that is not defined by life but defined by light. You get the idea? Now, the devil intercepted it and gave them another consciousness that is a product of the tree of the knowledge. Now you see that it's knowledge that polluted man because our glory is in our mind and the more fruitful our minds become with the light of life the more divine we become it's like studying the greek word aletheia thou shall know the truth truth as aletheia and the truth will set you free it's an activity of the mind that as you are transformed better in your mind your seed carries that glory. Now that the devil has intercepted it, notice Adam was no more growing in the image of God. Adam was now joining, having access to the depths of darkness. This is where the understanding comes from. The more Adam journeyed into darkness by knowledge, from the tree of the, of the knowledge of good and evil, the devil, darkness also journeyed into Adam. So it's like a koinonia, a fellowship, a love story. The more Adam knew evil or darkness, the more darkness knew Adam. So just as Adam began to take the image of death, death started taking the image of Adam. So at the time, the very DNA of Adam was cloned that the sons of God could now, through the mind of man, have access to the body of man. I hope you understand this. This is where that relationship comes in, where sex became a possibility. Sons of God actually had sex with the daughters of men. But before that happened, they first had influence over their mind, cloned their DNA, took a resemblance of them, and now do exactly how they should do to multiply. And that's what the whole journey began. So Genesis 6 is a product of Genesis 3. If you don't understand Genesis 3, you won't understand Genesis 6. God was not talking about man having sex with man. It was the sons of God having intercourse with the daughters of men that produced their kind as giants in those days. In this um, end time, the devil is still doing the same thing. There are people you see who tell you of spiritual husband. It, it baffles me that some people think spiritual husbands don't exist. From the fall of Adam, man's DNA had been studied by spiritual forces. They have cloned it and they have had access into the nature of man. So spirits through that relationship have physical sexual relationship with mortals and up to now there are different forms of revelations they call revelations as teachings in different ministries different churches it baffles me that many christians don't see through what the devil is doing is coming into your nature again that eternal life that you have they are cloning it with the intention of destroying you and the only way they can assess that DNA as life is through the light of God that you have. But first, they will introduce themselves to you with their own light. The more you study their light, the more you have certain messages preached to you, the more they have fellowship with your soul. The more they have fellowship with your soul, the more you dream and have sex in your dreams, and it will baffle you the outcome. What is going on now? In the church in the last days is exactly what happened in Genesis 3 and Genesis 6. We, it's high time we wake up. Most of, all, most of us are asleep. It's high time we looked to God again because the devil haven't made sure that Jesus failed and he also failed in trying to make sure Jesus failed. Haven't made sure 
he tempted Jesus to fail. Let me use a different word. Having tried to make Jesus fail, which he failed in that process, he is now following the church because that is the only source of the manifestation of Christ on earth. And you are the target. Notice, finally, that he went after Eve. Note in the end time, he's going after the church as the female nature of God that is capable of producing every manifestation of God on earth, like Eve is the source of the manifestation of every Adam on earth. If we, as the body of Christ, our very nature is female, because the church is female, all members of the body is female. So it's only through you God can bring about manifestation. Like a woman gives birth. You get it? You will travel in birth. We will all travel in birth. But make sure you are not a source by which the nature of light is cloned and pollution is, in, in, is brought into the church to destroy the purpose of God. Become an active Christian. Become a Christian indeed. Don't lose your soul to deceit, thinking that every knowledge is knowledge so long as it gives you results. Some results will destroy you forever. And don't forget the way he went after the divine life of Adam is coming after the divine life of the second Christ, the second Adam, rather, who is the Christ of God. And you, as a member of that body, you sure have a role to play. The more you resist evil, the more you resist sin, the more you give God glory. May the Lord bless us in Jesus' name. Amen.